Hello everyone, today we have a true exclusive review, let's say, as you can see it's Fugacy M170 Magister from IMK Models and this is 148 kit and why it's interesting because uh, this kit um, was designed with very unusual approach and as you can see it will feature plenty of bonuses, it's written here is it uh, inside the box we will find 285 plastic parts, P thread, metal parts and even translucent fuselage, I mean transparent parts of course. So as you can see it features this basic design, box itself is not that big, I would say it's almost similar to the previous L29. Uh, on the sides we have pictures with marking options which are included into this kit, you can see them here and here. And here. Nevertheless, uh, most interesting part is hidden inside. That's the top opening box. And what we will find inside is a traditional assembly manual on the top. And that's what we see under the manual. Just let me take one photo. And now we continue. Uh, so let's start from the assembly manual, which is done in form of gloss brochure, which is printed on gloss paper and it's color printed. As you can see here, uh, all marking options are shown on the first page. Here we have another marking guide, uh, paint and color used. They are given in standard numbers and in FS and RAW numbers. There is no, uh, let's say, attachment to the lineup of the, any existing uh, manufacturer. As you can see, assembly process is displayed uh, in form of quite understandable pictures, so it won't be a problem to assemble this aircraft. Note also quite developed inner structure, which is quite nice because assembled model won't be that big and I guess it will look really stunning. And of course there is separate guide for all marking options, which are included into this kit. There are five of them. So let's move forward. Uh, as you can see here, we have nice box. It's actually a plastic box. And why it's interesting? Because it features metal parts. I will show it closer. Now you can see it properly. So here in the picture we can see all the parts which are now packed into this box. I'll try to open it carefully so that you can see all parts and their beauty. That's the main spar for the wings, which will hold wings. Nevertheless, we also can see here landing gear, struts, some outer panels, inner structure elements. So it should be quite an interesting process to apply these parts. And of course this box is a nice packaging for these parts. Then we have uh, plastic sprues. There are one, two, just let me count it. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six gray sprues, two transparent ones. So let's begin from the small ones because they were lying on the top. Okay. Uh, molding quality is approximately similar to the uh, to the one we saw in L29 kit, and I have to admit it that it was really good. Here, for example, you can see some of the parts for the inner structure, and they look really nice. We have here landing gear struts, even though they are provided as a metal parts, as well as some minor elements.
Then we have another sprue with uh, some external parts and again some inner structure elements some really tiny parts this one is I think is a front wheel engine turbines here pilot seat back rest and also what else some parts for the external tank I guess here uh, what we have else here? Another small sprue. The same parts, so there is no need to check it once again. And then we have separately packed sprue with fuselage parts. This one is replicated also in form of transparent parts. So you will have choice between uh, see-through version or just plain grey plastic version. It can be useful for some nice ideas, for example half-stripped uh, aircraft. As you can see here, uh, FusioH features recessed panel lines and drive it in some places. And also we can see here uh, dashboards which are also nice, they have nicely molded dials and should look good. Uh, what else we have here? Of course the cockpit tab which is molded with side panels with all the minor elements on it. Also note the inner structure of the fuselage. All ribs are carefully replicated in the plastic. Uh, just give me a second. Yes, fuselage halves have uh, alignment points. The small tabs which will help you to assemble the structure faster. And also note the back side of the dashboards. Those are also molded maximally realistic. So it should look good. Then we have transparent version of the same screw and it's quite funny because not only the fuselage is given as a transparent part here you can see it but also we have cockpit tab as a transparent part and even dashboards are molded as a transparent parts Molding quality is approximately the same, recessed panel lines, so inner structure replication here and also what else here? Thin attachment points which are present also on the grey plastic version. Then we have two last sprues. Just give me a second to open them. Here we have parts uh, for the engine, here you can see them. Some inner structure panels for example here and here and what else, some external tanks, again some uh, winding gear parts here. So it's again quite nice molding and those thin attachment points are still present. And even on such small parts such as engine, uh, we have those position tabs which will help to assemble it easier. And of course wing parts uh, which have separately molded ailerons, flaps, so it will be easy to assemble this part. Sorry, uh, ailerons are molded as one piece but flaps are molded separately. You can see it here. Of course, uh, recessed panel lines are present also. Some people were complaining when they saw first photos on the official Facebook account of the MK. Uh, they were complaining about quite deep panel lines, but I have to say that under several coats uh, of the primer and paint, 
it looks really good and there is nothing to complain about quite a notable feature is that uh, wheel wells are molded on the top wing house and detailization is quite nice then we have another transparent sprue which is dedicated to the canopy parts and some minor transparent parts just give me a second to open it and here we have it molding quality is approximately the same to the one with physiologic parts so there are no muted segments no any other possible uh, molding damage and parts themselves are quite thin as you can see so it should look up to scale then we have PE thread which I will also open to show you here you can see it of course here we have um, belts for the cockpit, some minor external parts and no dashboard because dashboard was nicely molded in plastic let's move on to the last component of this kit that's the decal sheet I guess there is only one decal sheet which is provided in this kit but it features all necessary symbols again just give me a second to open the back and to show you the decal sheet so there is no mentioning about the manufacturer of this decals and I have to say that quality is really great we have stencils here, we have all symbols everything is nicely molded and I don't see any possible mistake take a look on this gold symbol for example it looks really nice I think it will work out after careful application it should look absolutely good so that's all for this kit I think it's quite a nice alternative to all available options on the market because usually other manufacturers offer two kits in the box but they don't offer uh, such huge amount of options that's first uh, advantage and also they don't offer such great detailization nevertheless don't forget to check full article on our website and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook group we would appreciate it. Thank you for watching and see you soon.